Emmanuel Macron has just 24 hours left to withdraw his post-Brexit fishing threats or face an almighty trade war with Britain. The French president set a deadline of November 2 for the UK to issue more licenses to EU vessels to access British waters. He has warned he is willing to bar UK fishing boats from some ports and tighten customs checks on lorries entering the country unless more licenses are granted for their small boats to fish in Britain's waters. So far the UK has stood firm in the face of posturing from across the channel. With both sides in a standoff, it leaves the French president just one day left to subtract his threats or risk tension boiling over. Boris Johnson has vowed he will retaliate to any action taken by Paris. Mr. Macron isn't even certain he has the backing of Brussels with his high-risk strategy. The European Commission was caught off guard last week by France's ultimatum to the UK and is now frantically assessing whether the measures being proposed are legal under international law and the EU trade deal. Yesterday Mr. Johnson and Mr. Macron met on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Rome to try and come to an agreement on fishing. But after the meeting, while the Elysee Palace briefed both sides had agreed to ways to reduce tensions, the UK said no such deal had been reached and it was up to France to retract its menacing rhetoric. This morning Foreign Secretary Liz Truss told Sky News, the deal HASNT been done, the French have made completely unreasonable threats, including to the Channel Islands and to our fishing industry and they need to withdraw those threats, or else we will use the mechanisms of our trade agreement with the EU to take action. The French have behaved unfairly. It's not within the terms of the trade deal. And if somebody behaves unfairly in a trade deal, you're entitled to take action against them and seek some compensatory measures. Thank you.